and welcome back to Paranormal TV. So today I wanted to do a review on the movie Last Shift. I hope the lighting is okay. I started this video a while ago but then my camera died so then I had to charge my camera enough where I could actually get through this video. So fingers crossed that it looks okay and I'll have to refilm it tomorrow. I saw this movie on Netflix and I thought that the cover looked interesting. Now Netflix movies a lot of times I'll put on a horror movie on Netflix and I find that it's actually pretty bad. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's okay, and sometimes it's just awful. And more times than not I feel like I put on an awful movie on Netflix. When I started watching Last Shift, I thought that this was going to be another letdown. After all, finding hidden gems on Netflix can be far and in between, but this was one of those cases where I found one. Main character Jessica is patrolling a police station that is closing and she is pretty much alone for the entire night. So the movie starts off with an officer seemingly terrorized by something, but we don't know what it is. So we can assume that maybe he was experiencing something paranormal because this is a paranormal horror movie. However, they never really clear that out, which was one thing that I can't tell if they just want you to leave for interpretation and be open to interpretation for all the audience, or if it's something that they just forgot to connect the dots with and it's a little bit of a messy situation in the movie. No pun intended, but this officer tells Jessica that the night should be pretty dead. So all calls are going to the new police station since this one is closing and that most she should just come across a few wanderers. So she's waiting for the four guys to come out and clear out the evidence room but she soon finds out that she is not as alone as she thinks she is. So she starts to receive phone calls from this girl who is in distress and Jessica tries her best to help her but she does not have many resources at all to do so. And I really like Jessica's character especially in these moments you really start to root for her because of her kindness and wanting to help out this girl so you really start to root for Jessica's character. So first watching this movie I couldn't really tell what direction were they going in. Was this just another redundant ghost story? Was something there because of the evidence? Or was there going to be more to the story? I couldn't really tell. I couldn't tell if the weird things happening was due to the evidence in the room and it wasn't going to have any deeper meaning or if there was going to be more meaning to the movie. And I am happy to tell you there was a little bit more going on. There was more of a storyline. It wasn't just energy from the evidence that was left there. There's more to the story. The one thing I really liked about the story is that Jessica isn't there by accident. There's a reason she's there. There's a connection there and you find out later on in the movie what the connection is. It's not easily guessed either. It's not a connection that you can make early on. You need more clues throughout the movie to tie it in together. So I don't have really a lot of negative things to say about the acting which is refreshing. I like the acting. I thought there was a really creepy feeling to this movie as well. What's cool is that they didn't need a ton of special effects to achieve this creepy feeling either. It was able to be achieved by more subtle things, subtle effects. You didn't need a lot of special effects for that creepiness, which I love subtle horror. So the scares in this movie, I think they're pretty good. There's both psychological and jump scares. So you get a mix of both and some people hate jump scares, some people love them. It's more of a personal thing. I am in between. Like sometimes I think jump scares can be really, really cheap. They're really cheap when there's nothing scary on the other end, like when there's a really loud noise and it's like, oh, somebody just kicked a ball or a bird hit a window. So I greatly appreciate the fact that there are psychological scares and you know, some of the jump scares are followed through by creepy things as well. So the psychological scares are actually pretty scary as well. So the one thing I didn't like about this movie is the character had her fair share of stupidity. There were a couple of times where I was face palming myself. At one point I wanted to yell out at the character at the TV. So there's one scene that I am so confused about and if you watched Last Shift, could you guys please explain this to me? So there's one scene where Jessica is interacting with what we can assume is a prostitute, which is what I assumed she was a prostitute. I don't know if anyone else assumed that or not, but that was my assumption. And I really like this character. I wish we saw more of her. She was an interesting character. So the feeling I get from this character is that she is a part of this haunting somehow. I just don't know how. 
I never noticed them connecting the dots. I didn't, I, it could have just went over my head. I don't know if it just went over my head or if they really did not connect the dots there, but I don't get this character at all. If you guys could let me know, was she part of the haunting? Who was she? Let me know in the comments down below, but you should probably put spoiler alert before you do so. If you watched Last Shift, let me know down below what you thought of it, and if you have any horror recommendations, let me know those down below as well. Paranormal horror is my favorite because I'm always looking for new horror movies, and I love talking about horror movies with you guys, so yeah, just like let me know down below. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!